first age. After the first lockdown, when the isopods were first collected, one variety stood out. They wore the crown of the Roly Polies, and in their ravenous hunger, they reproduced. Their colorfulness grew swift and unrelenting, and those who tasted the bite of their mandibles named them. <laughs> In this vlog I will recap the development of my colony of locally collected roly polies. Perhaps I isolated or even actually bred an interesting new strain. This is the colony at its peak last year in October. I started with about 50 slightly more colorful individuals that I selected from those I collected when taking my dog for a walk. Later on I added about 20 especially colorful specimens from a local graveyard. I failed to record that. But in October I decided to once again select the more colorful ones and here they are. You can see their color pattern is somewhat striking and if you use a lot of imagination you might see a spine and ribs attached. At least that's what I am seeing. At the time I thought maybe this is just some kind of juvenile coloration and nothing special, but uh, I collected them nevertheless into a temporary enclosure. And why temporary? Well, I went back to that graveyard with the colorful ones and collected some more. Uh, don't worry, I was just uh, doing some uh, gardening stuff there and I helped out, um, well, if you can call occasional ye yelling, don't move! I see an isopod, uh, if you want to call that help. Um, uh, well, well, I d uh, also did uh, carry some water, I guess. And one more. Zip. Let's see what we got. With authentic graveyard soil. Oh, I hope they don't get sick from all this shaking. Spooky scary isopods crawled up and down the spine. Spooky scary isopods crawled up and down the spine. And off you go too into the temporary enclosure to mix up the population. I had this colorful subset of my isopods in varying containers in the meantime smaller, bigger ones, but uh, anyway, let's have a look at some photos I did. Perhaps some of you can tell me if this really is something of note, if you have seen something like this before, this color patterns and intensities of dark coloration and light coloration. In the beginning I determined the species of some of the individuals and I found out that they were most likely Amadilidium vulgare, but uh, I cannot rule out the possibility that there might be multiple species involved. And here we have some brown even, or reddish brown. A mix of golden reddish brownish colors. And in February of 2021 I decided to rehouse them again and you can see a nice mix of different colorations and patterns, but uh, it seems to be improving, either with age or generations or both. This is the enclosure they have been in since February and occasionally I still add some specimens from the larger part of the colony. And of course now there's the question how to name them. They were collected at least in part at a graveyard in Oldenburg, so maybe a Goldenburger, Roldenburger. Guldenburger, Ruli Ghoulies, or maybe I will just stick to the Doom Slayers. I'm gonna sing the Doom song. 
Boom, 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 boom,